This is everything I bring to Europe for a month-long trip, 10 days, two weeks, anything. 25 liter bag, uh, fits everything I need. And I've gone to Europe now a few times and I've slowly refined what I need to bring and realized what I no longer need to bring. Um, so the plan for this trip is I'm going to be going to Italy for 10 days with my girlfriend. We are going to be hitting up Naples and then a bunch of little cities around the Amalfi Coast. Uh, we're going in October, so the weather is going to be around, it's going to range from anywhere from 25 degrees Celsius at the very high end, all the way down to like 10 or 11 degrees Celsius in the mornings and the evenings. So it's a wide range of temperatures, and sometimes, especially in that shoulder season, it can be tough to know exactly what to pack in terms of clothing, because uh, how, how variable it is. Um, so yeah, everything I, I bring fits in this bag. And then I also bring a tiny money belt, which fits some of my other stuff. So I'm first gonna talk about the backpack. This is a 25 liter Burton snowboard backpack, actually. Um, there's two main reasons I like it. Well, three. One is it's black and sleek, and it looks like a regular backpack. So when you're walking around, you don't look like this tourist, and you're, uh, you know, like, attracting pickpockets or whatever. Um, also, it opens up this way, as well as the top. So I can zip it out here, this opens up, you can grab whatever you need without having to dig through everything. Um, and then lastly, if I need more room, it has this, um, essentially a helmet compartment. And it can come out like this, and you can wrap whatever you want, an extra sweater, a pair of sandals, whatever, and you can actually strap it in here. And it gives you an extra like five to 10 liters of space uh, if you end up buying something along the way or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's why I like this backpack so much. Uh, I'll link it below as well as all the other clothing and gear that I bring with me on this trip. Okay, so in the backpack, if we unzip this here, um, this basically is everything. I have two packing cubes worth of clothing along with the clothing I'll be bringing on the plane, which I'll go through as well. I have a uh, wet bag or dry bag that I use to hold a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Um, I have my sleep stuff, which um, always necessary, especially if you're sleeping in hostels or whatever. Um, that's really important to get good sleep. A uh, plastic bag. This can be used for a lot of things. If you want to carry groceries, uh, if you want to carry a wet swimsuit and towel, uh, if you happen to feel like you're going to throw up on the plane, you can also use it for that. Uh, so this has a lot of good uses and it takes up no room at all. Also in the bag, uh, other little things. Um, I what I've started to do for this new trip is I'm going to be bringing this tiny coffee drip filter uh, with a few of these paper filters. Coffee can be really expensive and add up when you're traveling, so this is going to be a way for me to uh, save some money on coffee and make it in the mornings. Maybe buy one during the day but it opens up like that, you put, I'll get like a paper cup or something, and uh, ground coffee is very easy to find around Europe, so I'll put the filter in and make some pour over, and that's gonna save me four or five bucks a day. Um, so yeah, that, that's for, uh, that's a new thing I'm bringing for this trip. Okay, so when it comes to clothing, it can be kind of challenging, um, figuring what you need to bring. Um, usually what I do is I'll bring a tiny bottle of Dr. Bronner's all-in-one soap and I can do laundry throughout the trip, um, especially during past trips. I went to Croatia, I went across uh, Europe all the way out east and um, I would just wash the clothes every few days, especially my boxers and socks and just hang them and then the next day they're fine to go. Uh, so you don't need to bring too much really. Um, during this trip we're going to be doing some hiking. Uh, a lot of walking and exploring cities, obviously, and then also maybe some fancier dinners at night. So it's a wide range of things I need to bring. In the first packing cube, I have one of these uh, quick dry towels, uh, super small, dries really quickly, and since we're gonna be doing some beaches and swimming, um, you're obviously gonna need one of these. You don't wanna bring a huge towel because it's, it's too bulky and it won't fit in a bag like this. So something like this you can buy from like your local uh, outdoor store or Amazon you can get for pretty cheap and this is the size large and it's plenty for what I use it for. I use it camping, I use it for basically everything. 
I also have a packable rain jacket. This is from Decathlon, fits in super small, and uh, it's perfect for what I use it for. If we are going somewhere that's more rainy, I'd probably bring a more heavy duty Gore-Tex jacket, but for this trip, um, just a small packable jacket like this is gonna be fine. And I'll just throw it in my backpack everywhere we go. If it rains, I can just pull it out. Okay, so, so I'm going to be bringing four pairs of socks. Uh, most of them are merino wool socks, so they're going to absorb sweat a lot better, not stink as quickly. One pair I'll be wearing on the plane, which is going to be a longer pair that's going to keep me a bit warmer, and the rest are just going to be regular uh, short athletic socks that are going to dry quickly after each day. So four is enough for socks. For boxers, I'm going to bring three pairs of boxers, that's really all you need. I use these uh, ex officio boxers, they're very common for traveling. I only have two pairs, so I'm just going to bring a regular like cotton pair of uh, boxers as well. So one I'm going to be wearing on the plane, and then two is packed in the backpack, that's all you need. In here I also have my uh, swimsuit, we're going to be doing a lot of swimming, possibly like rent a boat, stuff like that, so you want to have a swimsuit. These are uh, short, they can also be used for athletic shorts if I want to go running or work out. Um, if it's super hot, they're also, since they're black, they're, they could work as a more uh, casual short and not super fancy, but better than like a gym short possibly. So uh, that doubles as a lot of different things. And then lastly in this uh, bag, I have one shirt. That's an athletic shirt. I'm gonna bring two athletic shirts. One's gonna be worn on the plane and then one's packed away. These I can interchange and they dry pretty quickly. One is from Patagonia, the uh, Capiline Cool Lightweight shirt, and then I also have a Lululemon shirt uh, that's black as well that I'll be wearing on the plane. And so that's everything in the first uh, packing cube. These I got off Amazon as well, pretty cheap, uh, and they're good for just organizing and pulling out your clothes. Uh, if I want to just take this bag on a hike or something and not bring everything that I have. Okay, so in the second packing cube, I've got um, a button-up shirt. It's from H&M Cotton Shirt. Um, to get that kind of like Mediterranean vibe, have some buttons undone. If I want to go out for dinner. Um, and if it's hot out, it's still a really light shirt. So it's good if you want to go hiking, cover yourself from the sun anything like that, it's really nice. Uh, dark color as well. Most of my clothing is gonna be dark because if you get stains from anything like pasta or coffee, you don't want it to show as easily. So I try to stay away from whites and grays and stuff like that if I can. I also have a um, long sleeve polo shirt just because the weather seems to be a bit colder, especially in the evenings. This can double as a base layer. Uh, it's an athletic material so I can hike in it and uh, it's black and it, it looks good for going out as well. So I have two more dressy shirts that I can use for going out, but they're also lightweight enough that they're gonna dry quickly and they look good. I have one more uh, casual Uniqlo t-shirt. It's the uh, Arism category of shirt or whatever they call it. And it's, you, it's uh, quick dry. It's a bit thicker because it's gonna be colder again. So. Uh, it looks good. Also, I can like tuck it into like some trousers and it kind of looks like dressy. Um, and then it also can be used to sleep in and stuff like that. So it's a good overall shirt to have. And then lastly, I have this um, outdoor research hiking sun hoodie. This I bring with me everywhere. I brought with me to uh, Italy before. I've gone to Costa Rica in this. I've hiked in some really hot weather and this has been great for covering up from the sun. It has a hood and then I can bring a baseball cap to put under it and it covers basically everything. Uh, it's lightweight, it's dark, it looks good and uh, I just bring this everywhere I go because if it's hot and it's midday, especially in the Mediterranean, you want to cover up, this is perfect. And that's basically all the tops I'm going to bring that I'm packing in the backpack. So two t-shirts, two colored shirts, and the sun hoodie. And then I have one pair of pants packed in here. These are Lululemon, I think the ABC pants. A uh, couple things nice about these are that they're really lightweight and you can actually hike in them if you wanted to even. 
they're comfortable, um, they're tapered, they look good, and they also have a built-in uh, like drawstring. So if you want to tie it up, you don't want to bring a belt with you, this can double as a belt essentially. And I like the look of not having a belt uh, when you have something tucked into your pants. So these are lightweight, they're comfortable, and I always bring these traveling as well. And that's basically all the clothes I have in my backpack. Okay, so this is the clothes I'm going to be bringing on the plane. I want to be comfortable. I want to have the option of staying warm or cooling off if it gets really hot in the plane. And also try to bring some of the heavier clothing on me so it doesn't need to go in the backpack. So I have the boxers and a long pair of socks. I have the Lululemon athletic shirt that looks good. I have a uh, mountain hardware. It's kind of like a base layer zip up. It only goes three quarters of the way down, uh, but it looks kind of dressy too. And it acts as like a set, uh, like a sweater if it's you know mid temperatures, not too cold. I can wear this on the plane, use it as a pillow if I want to. Um, so there's a lot of uses for this. And I've noticed, especially in the fall, I used to only bring one jacket and then I would end up buying another sweater while I was out because I was getting cold. So this year I'm bringing this sweater. It doubles, I can hike in it when in the morning so if it's cold and then throw it in my backpack and sleep in it, whatever. And then for pants, these are another new addition I've recently been using. I've hiked with them a lot, I've camped with them. They're the Lululemon uh, Zip Hike Pants. These are probably the best looking zip pants you can find. So if you're hiking and you want to cover up your legs from getting sunburned, and then it's hot and you want to unzip them, these are by far the best looking ones. They can almost double as a dress pant, especially now that cargo pants are kind of in style. They're tapered at the bottom. Uh, they're lightweight, water resistant, and yeah, these are what I'm gonna bring on the plane. I can dress these up for dinner, I can hike in them, and then zip them off into shorts if it gets like really hot. Okay, so that's basically it for clothing that I'm packing and wearing. The last thing I have is a puffy uh, synthetic jacket. This is from Arcteryx, the Atom LT. It's very lightweight and packable. And in those very cold mornings or at night when we're out of water and it gets into those uh, maybe even like high single digits in Celsius, this is gonna be very useful. I always bring a puffy jacket with me when I travel just in case, um, and it takes up a lot less room than like a fleece sweater, which is what I used to bring, uh, and it's warmer. It has a hood, and it looks good. So I recommend something like this. Arcteryx makes really good stuff, so I'd recommend checking them out. And it's synthetic, so it's not going to lose its insulation if it starts raining, uh, but I have my rain shell anyway, so I can put on top of that if it gets really cold, and I can layer up different stuff depending on what the temperature is gonna be. Okay, so when it comes to sleeping when you're traveling, um, I find it very important whether you're on a plane, you're in hostels or on a bus or something and you want to get some sleep. So there's a few things I bring in this little bag. I have earplugs. These are actually like swimmers earplugs. I find they work a lot better than those foam ones. There's a pack of quite a few in here. I can share some with my girlfriend because she usually wants them as well. And I find these are, the, are really good. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, and they're super effective at covering noise, especially if you're in a big city or something too. I bring some mouth tape. This is so that I breathe through my nose when I sleep. Uh, might make a video on that at some point, but uh, I sleep way better when I use this. And then a sleep mask. So when I'm on the plane sleeping, because we're gonna have an overnight flight, I wanna use these. Um, or if there's no blackout curtains or something or people moving around early morning in the hostels, these are really important. So that's my sleep kit. So I have this little uh, dry sack I use to carry all the miscellaneous stuff. In here, I'm going to have a toothbrush, um, some face moisturizer, and I should have some toothpaste in here as well. So that's basically all my toiletries are in need. Uh, well, I actually also have the deodorant. This is a natural deodorant. I'll bring that as well so I don't stink. And that's basically all the toiletries you're gonna need, especially for uh, a 10 day trip. If I was going for three weeks or a month or a couple months, 
I would also bring nail clippers with that because my nails would go really long, but for 10 days I can manage uh, not having to cut my fingernails. Also in here, I have a uh, power converter with two USB charges so I can charge um, two people's phones or whatever. This is going to be the prong that works in Italy as well as a lot of Europe. I think it's type C. Uh, so get one of those. A headlamp. This is really important, especially if you're in hostels and you don't want to wake people up in the morning. If you have an early uh, train or flight and you don't want to turn on the lights in the room, this is useful. If you want to wake up early and catch the sunrise on a hill and you don't have light, you don't want to use your phone flashlight, this is really useful. So this is a Duracell one I got off Costco. Um, it has multiple different light settings, a red light setting, so this is really useful. And then the last couple things I have in here are a clothesline, since I'm going with my girlfriend. Uh, we might have a lot of clothes we need to hang up, and it might be tough to find spots around Airbnbs and stuff to hang uh, clothing. So we're bringing this. If I was going alone, I probably wouldn't bring this. But having two people doing laundry, this will be useful. It's a Sea to Summit um, packable clothesline. Really small, works well. And then also a first aid kit. Useful, there's um, tape, bandages, Advil, Tylenol, uh, diarrhea relief. Uh, Neosporin. I'm gonna have to take out the Swiss Army knife from here, but uh, some alcohol wipes. These are really useful if you're hiking uh, or you're out and you just need, you have a little cut or something, a blister. That's useful. I also have a portable charger. This is from Anchor. It's a pretty big one, so I can get a few, like, I can charge my phone probably four or five times with this. It's hefty. Uh, but it's very useful if you're out all day with your phone and you can't stop in, a, stop in a coffee shop or something and charge your phone. Always bring a portable battery charger. Um, and then a water bottle. This year, instead of bringing a Nalgene bottle and clipping it onto the back of my backpack, I'm going to experiment with the Be Free uh, water filter. Uh, I don't really need the water filter specifically, but the main reason I'm bringing it is because it folds up really small and can fit in my backpack when I'm not using it. It's lightweight and it can hold up to a liter, so I'm going to experiment with this this time. It fits a lot smaller and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, you can just use a regular Nalgene bottle or buy a plastic bottle at the airport, but I'm going to experiment with this this year. And then we're going to be uh, hopefully renting a boat and uh, driving around the coast. So I'm going to bring this Sea to Summit dry bag pretty big. If we want to put our phones in here, whatever we don't want to get wet, uh, we're going to put in this bag. So I'm bringing this. I normally wouldn't bring this either, but because we're planning on boating, I'm going to bring this just in case. Okay, a couple of miscellaneous things. I always bring one of these tiny money belts that I put around my waist or over my shoulder. Um, to keep the really important stuff safe. So in here I'll have usually my phone, I'll just keep in there, my passport, credit cards, ID. Uh, I'll usually put my AirPods in there. I'll put a charging cable so I can access that quickly. And then also my glasses or my sunglasses I'll throw in there. And that just makes everything super accessible when I need it. And then it won't crush my glasses if it's in my backpack. Um, and yeah, that's basically everything I'm gonna be bringing to Europe. One other tip I have actually, so for most people that are in North America and going to Europe, you're going to be having an overnight flight. So you're going to want to ideally sleep on the plane at least a few hours so that you're ready to take on the day and not miss a whole day in Europe. Um, I used to use melatonin and stuff, but uh, from research and stuff I've been doing, apparently it's not that great for you. So what I've been experimenting with is L-theanine. I'll take two capsules of this. And then I'll take uh, magnesium bioglycinate, uh, two capsules of that as well, usually before I get on the plane. Maybe have a glass of wine at the airport or something, and that knocks me out while I'm on the flight. So I found these uh, supplements from Andrew Huberman's podcast. He talked about these for sleep, so I've been trying them, and they work very well. So I would recommend that if you have an overnight flight and want to get some sleep, maybe bring some extras uh, if you're having trouble sleeping during the trip as well. Okay, so that's everything I'm going to be bringing on my backpacking trip to Europe. I'll have the links for everything in the description below. 
And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys plan on going on any trips and if you have any suggestions for what I should bring or comments, whatever, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.